Hi friends, in this video we'll be showing you all how to change the tubes on the Studio V3 preamp but the procedure applies to any preamp out there in the market. So I got this preamp a few years ago and these tubes need to be changed at periodic intervals usually once in a year or two but I haven't changed the tubes for a long time. So if your preamp is making a strange frying noise like this or it has uh, an increased hiss like this then probably your preamp tubes need to be changed do watch till the end follow along and do subscribe to our channel if the video is helpful the very first step is to unscrew the screws using a screwdriver and while removing the screws you need to make sure that you do not damage the slots of the screw by using a wrong screwdriver this, this may create a lot of problems later there are four screws on the side of the preamp that have to be removed so if after unscrewing these three screws if you have a problem removing the last screw then try to apply a little bit of pressure on the top that will loosen the screw do not try to apply a lot of pressure if you apply a minimal amount of pressure the screw will easily come out so after unscrewing the screws pull the top part of the preamp towards one side and it will come apart very easily Make sure not to pull it roughly because the preamp has wired connections and that might get damaged due to the force. Be very careful while removing the top cover and use gentle force. So once the top part is removed you can see the tube. So you need to gently apply pressure on the tube and wiggle it a bit. So this will you, you have to keep wiggling it while pulling it out simultaneously. And the tube can be a little tightly packed into the slot like my tube was a bit tight into the slot. So I had to apply a little bit of pressure. The tube can be a little tightly packed into the slot so you need to wiggle it a bit towards the opposite sides gently and while you wiggle the tube you need to pull it out so it should come out fairly easily. I have this generic Chinese tube 12AX7. I have been using this tube for some time and the sound quality has been very satisfactory so I don't think it would make a large difference to you use different types of different uh, costly tubes. There are a lot of YouTube videos available that show that there is very very minute noticeable difference when you use uh, different tubes. And especially if you have a home studio or if you're tight on budget then uh, it, it, it is not recommended that you go for the costly tubes. Now in case the tube is very very tight then try to bend the preamp and try to pull it horizontally while shaking the tube. This may make it easier to come out. But make sure you do not damage the board on which the tube is attached. The board below the tube is not attached to the body and it keeps moving while you remove the tube. Make sure to press it firmly while you pull out the tube or it may break. subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon
okay so finally we have taken out the tube you can check the model number on the tube so you can select whatever is preferred by you do watch the second part of this video to know the procedure to install the new tube and we can then start and assemble the preamp again thank you i hope this video was helpful stay tuned on rohani tube